only anything more of interest. Hey Matt, the violinist really did steal the purse. Well observed. I knew it! I'll stay here. Sounds like... Someone broke off the radio's antenna. This could be a long trip to Istanbul. I'd better let him read his newspaper if I don't have any pressing questions. I have everything I need. Professor Lucien. How can I help you, Constable Zelda? I'd like to have a look around the compartment. Oh, uh, of course. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. Inspector Legrand, anything to report? Baroness von Trebitz told me about her missing purse. Baroness von Trebitz? She is financing everything, isn't she? Indeed, sir. I found the purse. David Kreutzer, a violinist from Austria, had it. Hmm, probably nothing to do with our case. All the same, good work. I got Professor Lucien into his compartment using a pair of pliers. Did you notice anything inside the compartment? The window was open. Someone could have climbed out. And the professor? Acted suspiciously. He rummaged around in his leather bag. And? He seemed to have found what he was searching for. Good. Good work. 
Now, perhaps you could give me some information. All right, we should. What? The light's gone out. Flashlights. Ah, get off me. There, sir. An envelope. My dear Nico, you should take a closer look at the box. Ah, what the dickens? It's it's away with it. Get cover. <coughs> oh dear. Oh, is everyone all right? Are you hurt? Quick thinking. Well done, Zellner. <coughs> I think the tunnel collapsed. Then he's trapped. Hurry, we have to lock the second exit. Sir, there's a fire up ahead. The engine's burning. It's a distraction. Hurry, block the exit. But, sir... <coughs> the fire will consume all the oxygen. He's right, Inspector. A fire in a narrow tunnel is extremely dangerous. Merde! Go to the front of the train, find the engineer, and tell him to move the train out of the tunnel. Yes, sir. Are you ready? You have to uncouple the freight car. You understand? <coughs> I understand. I'll see to the passengers. They should all wait in the tunnel. We'll check each one in turn as they go out. Let's get to it. My God, what a fire. I hope Constable Oliver can at least reach the engine. The other passengers escaped from the train. I can see their silhouettes in the light of the fire. If I don't hurry up and uncouple the freight car, they'll suffocate. I bought it last week, second-hand. I liked it because it seems to tell a story. It was set aside for a newer model, even though it's still quite okay. Whiskey, scotch, rum, liqueurs. Enough to entertain everyone on the train all the way from Paris to Istanbul. Pardon me. I did not mean to scare you. What are you doing here, Doctor? Legrand asked me to check whether there are any passengers left on the train. Really? No one is here, except for me and you. Excellent. Then I will continue searching at the front. Did anyone act suspiciously before the explosion? Did anyone leave the seat, for example? 
I was the only one on the train who wasn't seated when the freight car exploded. Thank God, otherwise I would have been caught by the blast as well. You certainly were lucky. Perhaps I was. What happened over there? The inspector said something about gas canisters that exploded. He didn't want to scare you. The truth is, it was a bomb meant to kill him and the Bobby. My God, an attack. But who would... The investigations are ongoing, but first we have to get the burning train out of the tunnel. Oh, of course. How are the passengers? They are in a state of shock, of course. The blackout and the sudden stop were frightening enough, but then the explosion, the dust, everyone rushed for the exits. I was helping the American woman bring Lady Westmacott to safety. They are waiting outside in the tunnel. One entrance is blocked by a fire, and the other one seems to have collapsed. Continue to search the train. I'll decouple the buried freight car. All right. Doctor? Can you give me a few matches? Oh, certainly. Thanks. I'll meet you outside. Do hurry! Inspector's trap failed. The thief must have got wind of it. Mm, worse than that, he turned the tables. To win a game of cat and mouse, you have to know who is the cat and who is the mouse. It's still quite warm and too warped to open. The tunnel may very well have collapsed. It's difficult to see much because of the darkness and dust, but something certainly crushed the rear of the freight car. Hello? Hmm, nothing. It's possible that the other freight cars are intact and it only caught the one in which the dynamite exploded but I'll have to uncouple it if the train's to be able to leave the tunnel. I'm sure I could uncouple the car if I only had enough light to see what I'm doing. I can feel cold metal and a screw thread and a lot of grease. But I can't do more without light. Hmm, high proof rum could be useful. Rum from Austria. Believe it or not, it's 80% alcohol by volume. There's no way anyone would drink it straight. A lot was damaged by the sudden stop, but the bowl was thick enough to survive the fall. The last of the candy has vanished. Measured against the exploding freight car, I think the railway will overlook the loss. The last... the last of...
don't see Legrand or the constable, but I can make out the silhouettes of some of the passengers. They seem to be unscathed. All the same, the fire is getting bigger, and I don't have much time. The fire is sucking the oxygen out of the tunnel and filling it with poisonous carbon monoxide. Here in the Alps, there have been dozens of catastrophes in tunnels that ended with death by asphyxiation. But not on my watch. The chair either fell over thanks to the sudden stop, or an escaping passenger knocked it over. Warning to get off the train as quickly as possible after a sudden stop and a massive tremor, that's understandable. It's not bothering me, I'll leave it there. I noticed the extinguisher earlier doesn't match the decor. I suppose that the railway company had to comply with safety regulations at the cost of aesthetics. It'd be useless against the fire out there and it's too cumbersome to carry around. At best, I can use it here. Uh. All right, let's go. That should do it. That should do it. The alcohol burns with a dim blue flame. It doesn't shed enough light and will probably burn out in a few seconds. Won't solve my lack of light. I'll have to try something else. That should do it. Ah, it's smoking and the curtain's turning black, but it's not actually catching fire. I don't know what kind of material this is made of. Something that's not easy to set alight at any rate. I'll have to try something else. That should do it. Ah, it's smoke. I don't know what... I'll have to try something else. That should do it. Ah, I don't... I'll have to try something else. That should do it.
Ah, uh, I don't know what... I'll have to try something else. That should do it. Can't really say the fabric was eager to soak up the rum. I, on the other hand, soaked up enough in my fingers to smell like a drunk. I should concentrate on uncoupling the freight car. I'm positive that Lagrand has everything else under control. Okay, I'll smear some grease on the curtain. I shouldn't be wasteful. One burning match should be enough. A burning match. Hmm. Just as I expected, the alcohol burns with an almost invisible flame. I'm the god of fire. <laughs> 